Hey everyone, welcome to part 13 of the Pokemon game series in Unity. In this video, we'll implement physical and special moves. So special thanks to Alexander for the support in Patreon and suggesting this topic for this video. So if you think the series is helpful, you can support me in making it by becoming a Patreon and unlock some cool rewards for that. So let's start this video. So first let's look at what are special moves and physical moves. So if you look at special move in Bulbapedia, special moves are moves belonging to these types. So moves of types like fire, water, grass and all are special moves. And uh, physical moves are moves of these types. So we can easily find whether a move is physical or special based on its type. So inside our move base class, We'll create a new boolean property called is special. And inside the getter, we should return true or false based on the type of the move. So if type is equal to Pokemon type dot fire or water or grass. So if the type of the move is any of these, then we'll return true, indicating the move is special. And otherwise, we'll just return false, indicating the move is physical. So now in our Pokemon class, we should consider whether the move is physical or special while calculating the damage. So right now we're just using the normal attack and defense for calculating the damage. But we should only really use this if the move is physical. So if the move is special, then we should use the special attack and special defense stat of the Pokemon. So here, if the move is special, then we should use the special attack of the attacker. And otherwise, I'll just use the normal attack and we'll store this into a float variable called attack so if you haven't used the conditional operator before it's just a shorter way of writing if else so if a special is true then we will return special attack and otherwise we'll just return normal attack and for the defense if the move is special then we should return the special defense of the current Pokemon and otherwise we should use the normal defense. So now let's use these variables for calculation. So now if we test the game, we wouldn't see any difference but we will be using the special stat or the normal stat based on the type of the move. So let's test that by debugging. I'll just add a breakpoint here and attach this to Unity. And now if we test the game and try to start a battle, so if I use scratch, which is a physical move, the execution just stopped here since we have a breakpoint and now we can just keep the mouse on any variable to see its value so if we look at is special it is false because scratch is actually a physical move and the value of special attack is 9 and normal attack is 8 but if we look at the value of attack it's 8 which means we are using the normal attack value since our move is physical so if you haven't done debugging before, I highly recommend you learn about it and start using it because it's one of the most useful tools for programmers. We can easily check if a code is working correctly and also when we have some issues, we can easily find that out. So I'll just hit continue and we should go back to our game. So Bulbasaur used Growl, which is also a physical move. It's actually a status move, 
we haven't implemented status modes yet but we'll do that in a later video so now if i do ember which is a fire type you can see that is special is actually true now and the value of attack will be equal to the value of the special attack and same for the defense also so our logic is working correctly so i'll just remove the breakpoint and hit continue so there is one thing i missed while implementing the battles we should actually reduce the pp of the move when it is performed but we are not actually doing it right now so let's fix that i'll just stop debugging and inside the battle system when the player performs move we need to reduce the pp of the move so th this will dec decrement the value of pp by one and let's also do that inside the enemy move and now if we test the game so right now scratch has 20 pp and if i use it once you can see that its pp has been reduced to 19 so i'll stop the video here if you think this video is helpful consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like on this video that will really help me a lot so i'll see you in the next video